In the series of videos, we will be discussing the cytoskeleton system of cell. And in this video, we will be discussing about the differences between microfilaments, microtubules, and the intermediate filaments. These are the main three components of the cytoskeleton system of the cell. First of all, let's see what are the subunits incorporated into the polymer. In microfilaments, we have ATP actin monomers. In microtubules, we have GTP alpha beta tubulin heterodimers. Whereas in intermediate filaments, there are more than 70 different proteins. So we see actin filaments binds ATP, alpha beta tubulin binds GTP molecule, and intermediate filaments do not bind any nucleotide. Now we see what are the preferential sites of incorporation of these subunits. The subunits in microfilaments are incorporated into the plus end, barbed end. In microtubules, these subunits are incorporated into the plus end, whereas in the intermediate filaments, subunits are incorporated internally. Moreover, these filaments have polarity with plus and minus ends. Both microfilaments and microtubules have polarity while as intermediate filaments do not have any polarity. Then get into the enzymatic activity of these proteins. The microfilaments have ATPase activity, whereas microtubules have GTPase activity, and intermediate filaments do not show any enzymatic activity. Now the important function of these cytoskeleton proteins is the part they play in motor activity. Both microfilaments and microtubules act as a track for different motor proteins. For microfilaments, we have myosin motor protein. And for microtubules, we have kinesin and dynein motor protein. Whereas for intermediate filaments, there are no motor proteins. Now moving forward, we see different major proteins associated with these cytoskeleton proteins. There are actin binding proteins for microfilaments. There are MAPs proteins that are microtubule associated proteins for microtubules and plaquins for intermediate filaments. Now let's see some structural differences. The microfilaments or actin filaments are flexible and inextensible helical filaments. Whereas microtubules are stiff hollow inextensible tubes. And the intermediate filaments are tough, flexible and extensible different from the microtubules and microfilaments. And if we see the size or dimensions, we have 8 nanometer diameter for actin filaments, 25 nanometer outer diameter for microtubules, and 10 to 12 nanometer diameter for intermediate filaments. Furthermore, if we see the distribution of these filaments, the actin filaments and microtubules are found in all eukaryotes, and intermediate filaments are found in animals. Now the important difference is in their functions. The microfilaments take part in motility and contractility like muscle contractions through actin myosin. The microtubules support intracellular transport and cell organization whereas intermediate filaments are for structural support. And one more thing is the subcellular distribution. Both microfilaments and microtubules are found in cytoplasm whereas intermediate filaments are found in both cytoplasm as well as in nucleus. So these are the major differences between microfilaments, microtubules and intermediate filaments. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.